Ellen! Oh my goodness, you're here! Yes, well, you did remind me four times to be here, Casper. Yes, well, um... <laughs> I uh, didn't know whether you'd be able to, uh... <laughs> well, come on! <laughs> Down here! This is what I wanted to show you! It's a teleporter! What? It's a teleporter! I built a teleporter! It could essentially take us anywhere on the planet. Nowhere else, though. You see, it uses the Earth's core as a gravity anchor. And this port teleport pod... <laughs> oh, crikey, <laughs> that's a mouthful, isn't it? Especially given, you know, port, teleport... <coughs> anyway, uh, what I'm saying is, this is the port teleport pod. And this here is the starboard pod. You see, whether they realized it or not, a uh, seaman. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what I mean to say is, um, a nautical man, uh, whether they realized it or not, a port and starboard is, magnetically speaking, a real thing. Crazy, right? There's a connection between the poles and the gravitational core of the planet, and so when you put all that together, you can transport matter from one place to another. You can, in fact, teleport from here to there. Where? Anywhere on Earth, really. Where would you like to go? I think I'd like to go home. Uh, Look, I know it sounds kind of crazy, right? Casper, you're a nice guy. And you're quite intriguing in a way, but this is simply just too much for me right now. I thought we were going for a walk. That's what you told me. Oh, but we are going for a walk, Helen. We're going for a walk anywhere you like. The trick is friction. You have to take a big run up, you see. It creates solid kinetic energy that the two port and starboard pods can then utilize to create fully formed gravitational energy. Casper, I'll see you at work, but I'm going to go now. You enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. You don't believe me, do you? Of course I don't. Casper, you're acting like a bloody idiot. Right. Casper? Believe me now? What? What did you... What... What did... How did... How did you get from there to here? Ellen, I've built a teleporter. Haven't you been listening? Yes, but you've... You've built a teleporter! <laughs> I know, right? Where is it? Hmm? Well, where you disappeared, but they're gone as well. Oh, right, yes, uh, they're over here. <laughs> no point in me teleporting somewhere and the teleporter doesn't come on the journey with me. I'd be stuck. Yeah, sure. How the hell does it work? I just told you. Using the Earth's magnetic poles and its inner gravitational pull, mechanics is a corresponding medium. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense. Want to try it out? Um, okay. Great. <laughs> we'll start with a little jump first, just to get into the swing of things. I'll just put in the coordinates. Right. So this thing can make it so that we can go anywhere? Absolutely anywhere. On Earth, that is. I had thought about making a model that could cross stream with the moon's gravitational pull. You're saying you could teleport to the moon? Yeah, but the problem is that although the moon does have a core, it's not strong enough to create a magnetic field that could guide the teleportation devices. Also, if you went to the moon, you'd be dead, so... Oh, yeah. That's also a problem. Right, so the pods are set for literally just 10 yards in that direction. The trick is to run. Friction going into the pods is the thing that creates the gravitational force that then allows us into the quantum realm. And once we're in there... Just run. I got it. OK. You all right? Yeah, just contemplating what life decisions have brought me to this point. OK. You ready? Mm -hmm. Wait, when do we go? 
On three. Okay. One. Two. Oh, am I saying three? Oh, yeah, I thought maybe... Sorry, look, you count down this time. All right, okay. Let's go. Ready? One. Two. How fast do we run? Um, good question. I would say uh, about eight miles an hour. Okay. Um, and if we don't run fast enough, um, could something go wrong? Has something ever gone wrong whilst doing this? Not yet. What do you mean, yet? What about the fusion? Won't the gravity, like, crush us? Friction and no. <laughs> I don't think so. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. We don't have to. Oh, no, we're doing it. All right. On three. Ready? One, two, three. three. magnetic inversion of the teleporter. Your port and starboard sides may have momentarily... Just shut up and help me! I can't swim! What are you doing? Kissing you. Why? Because, you know, this is like one of those, like from a film, one of those moments. Can you get off me, please? Sorry, I, I just thought, you know, you're in trouble and I, and I saved you and, and I was on top of you and therefore... Therefore what? You have the right to kiss me? No, I just... Ellen, I'm... 
I didn't mean to offend you, and I'm not very good at this. I just really... What? I really... Wait, where's the port pod? The what? The port pod, where is it? Did you see it? Your teleporter? Where's my bloody beret? Oh no. Um, what are you doing? I am not in a hurry to put another one of those again. Casper? Casper? I really like you, Ellen. As in, you know, I'm very attracted to you. I know, Casper. And I'm sorry, but that's just not the way I feel about you. You're a friend, a very interesting, unique, bizarre friend, but I'm not attracted to you that way. Oh no, my phone! Oh my god, it still works. Can we go to Edinburgh? What? Edinburgh. I would love to go to Edinburgh. With the teleporter? Yes. Edinburgh? As in the capital of Scotland? Well, well that's just a... Three hour drive away. Two hours if you take the train. Have you never been to Scotland before? I've been to Whithorn. Okay, well, when I was a kid, I went with my family and it was magical. It looked like something out of Harry Potter. Uh, okay, well, first of all, two questions. Um, one, are you not completely put off by what just happened? Well, I mustn't have been running fast enough, like you said. Okay, and two, we can go absolutely anywhere. I mean, anywhere. Africa, Asia, America, New York City. Never really been interested in America. You've never been interested in going to America? Not even New York? The Big Apple? No, it looks kind of boring to me, to be honest, but... I would love to go to Edinburgh. I'm going to go home and get changed. You work on the teleporter and I'll see you later. I know something's wrong, Faye. Is it really that obvious? <laughs> I know that look. I've seen it on the faces of young girls like yours a million times. All right. Who is he? What did he do? Will I need a shotgun? He was too cool for me, so... Too cool? His name was Kyle. Oh, yes. I remember. You told me about him. A boy racer type. I was surprised that you were interested in him. He broke up with me two weeks ago, and um, I'm not coping so well. He was just very... Confident, flashy, arrogant. Yeah, a regular asshole, if you ask me. Dime a dozen. I'm just, I'm just surprised someone like him was interested in me. Faye, you're a beautiful young girl. Very funny, intelligent. You have a heart of gold. I think that what you need is a young man who who matches you, who matches you for intelligence, humor, good looks. I just put guys off. Like, I'm just weird and I'm odd and I put them off. <laughs> well, 
maybe you've not been meeting the right men. If you've been spending time with men who make you feel that you're weird or not right or, or whatever, well, they're not right for you. You should go after people who, when they meet you, there's a spark, electricity. You feel love for each other. You desperately want to see each other. It's equal. I don't know if I'll find someone that suits me like that, Gary. Maybe it isn't you who should be looking. Who knows? Maybe he'll find you. You never know who's going to walk through that door. Okay. Now, remember this time to really run. Okay, I will. If we hold hands, there's more chance of being in sync with each other's kinetic energy. The last time our hands touched, everything blew up. No, you see, if we were to hold hands before crossing the threshold, we'd both become one negative charge together. Uh, the problem with going in separately is that we both became two opposing negative charges. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Ready? On three. One, two, three! Oh my god, it works. Excellent trick. <laughs> Seen it before. Uh, have you? Uh, come on then. So my friend's in town. I should ask him to join us. Well, see you tomorrow, Faye. Bye, Gary. Sorry. Why did you have to make these things so bloody heavy? If they were any lighter, Ellen, I wouldn't have the right components to take the potential energy from the compensated... Forget that I asked. So, who is this friend? Oh, just some guy I met at uni years ago. I saw on his Instagram that he was here and it looks like something out of Harry Potter. Um, and we've been meaning to catch up for a while. So you just wanted to use my teleporter to see your friend? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds... I just... You offered the lift. I've been working on that teleporter for 18 months. And it worked. Congratulations. Ellen? Jason, yes! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! <laughs> You're actually here. Wait, what are you even doing in Edinburgh? Oh, it's a long story. <laughs> How are you? Ah, fair enough, and myself, just the usual, really. Oh, I have my manners. Do you want me to buy you a drink? Do you want me to buy you a drink? Listen, I'll get you one. We're over there. Well, if you insist, I'll take a double space side, please, with just a splash of water. Not too much. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jason. Casper. Seriously, like the friendly ghost? <laughs> yeah, like the friendly ghost. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, you've probably heard that all your life. So, how do you know Ellen? Don't worry, Ellen! Casper! 
I'm here. What are you doing? Uh, we're just friends. Okay. Can I get you gents something to drink? No, oh, thank you. My friend's already at the bar. I'm okay, thanks. Are those a part of a ship? Uh, no. Why do you ask? It's silly, really, but I do a lot of sailing, and the green and red reminded me like port and starboard. Uh, yes, uh, I'm using it to create a differential between the two gravitational poles of the planet. That's so interesting. <laughs> Did you build them yourself? Yeah, it took me 18 months. Honestly, amazing craftsmanship. Like, that looks... May I? Sure. What does it do? Um... Nothing. Oh, is it some kind of abstract artwork? That's... <laughs> I suppose that's a sort of definition of it. Well, whatever it is, it's... incredible. I've been kind of, you know, looking into like building stuff and I've kind of got a few inventions, so... Oh, really? You're an inventor? Well, no, I wouldn't say that. It's just, um, my dad, he used, like, worked on a lot of, like, ships and boats and he used to create, like, little gadgets. And I think that's where I get, like, my love for travelling for, but... Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I talk way too much. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, hi. I'm Faye. Lovely to meet you, Faye. And don't worry, <laughs> I talk a lot as well. Or I promise you, like, not as much to me. I could probably talk for, like, the whole of the UK or Scotland when we become independent. Or, actually, no, I could still probably talk for the whole of the UK. <laughs> like, no problem. <laughs> well, if you gentlemen need anything, let me know. Wow. I mean, wow. What? Read the signs, man. I'm sure she likes you. <laughs> she didn't like me. Women don't like me. Caspar, don't belittle yourself like that. I mean, with that sort of attitude, of course women won't like you. Um, Caspar, uh, don't worry about the lift home. I'm gonna stay with Jason. Sure, um, well, you two enjoy the city. You mean you're leaving already? Yeah, I've, uh, I've got to get home. Uh, you two have a great night. I'm certain we will, buddy. Do you need a lift home? I've got my own, thanks. Sorry, excuse me. I liked him. It's a teleporter. Sorry, what? It's a teleporter. Using the gravitational pull of the Earth and the native magnetic principles of port and starboard. That sounds almost plausible. It's true. We can go anywhere. Anywhere? Anywhere. All right, prove it. Take me to Carlton Hill. Where's that? You've never been to Edinburgh before, have you? No. First time. Are you not visiting your friends in the bar? Mm, not really. Not anymore. Well, Carlton Hill's about two miles away. It's got beautiful Greek architecture, which I love. That sounds kind of cool. Do you have these exact coordinates? Ready?
One, two, three. Yeah. 